y'all are this afternoon. This is your old buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range. With my last installment on Let's Compare the Wrangler well, to the uh, Rough Rider. That's the last time I'm going to do this. Well, the best thing to do is start out and shoot the gun, don't you think? So, I'm going to fire... 12 rounds into that one target and 12 rounds out of the right out of the uh, into the other target and then we're going to compare the accuracy and talk about the gun a little bit I've actually gotten to where I can shoot this gun pretty good freehand uh, I don't know if it's the gun is broke in or I'm broke in, but I've actually gotten to where the gun shoots pretty good for me. Uh, back when I first got it, you know, it, uh, well, back when I first got it, I was pretty much unhappy with it. It, it wasn't, it wasn't giving me the kind of service that I wanted it to have, or I wasn't shooting it as good as I thought I should. But now, after a couple of three cartons of 22s, <clears throat> I've gotten to where I can shoot this gun pretty good. Around there we can see that gun a little better. Get some cinematography going here. There we go. That's 12 out of the Rough Rider, <clears throat> 12 out of the Wrangler. Everything about the Wrangler is tight and stiff, it, and it hasn't broken in a bit. The hammer is stiff, the cylinder gate is stiff. Of course, I don't know, in 10 years, it may be loose as a goose, and that may be a good thing. I've already loaded this guy up to save us a little time on uh, video time. Oh, it's got a safety on it. All right, there we go. That's it, I think. All right. I like the Wrangler that when you open the gate, it puts the cylinder in neutral and you don't have to pull the gun back to half cock. That's neat. On the... Uh, Rough Rider, you have to pull this. You pull the hammer back to half cock, you know, and uh, open the cylinder gate and twirl the cylinder as needed. In much in the way a conventional single action revolver works. Now I'm shooting 22 Magnum out of this one. This is my seven and a quarter inch Rough Rider. This is my gun, as opposed to a drawing gun. You know, and it shoots really good. Degladen this thing. Come on, get out of here. Well, 
Let's go down and look at our tackle attack accuracy. Now, when I first got that Rough Rider, it shot for me a lot better than than the uh, Wrangler. Wrangler on the right, Rough Rider on the left. I actually pulled two with the Rough Rider. Um, but basically, the two guns shoot, for me, about the same. Okay? Now, the Rough Rider's got the magnum cylinder in it, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. So which is better? It's kind of getting to be a right Twix, left Twix kind of thing between these two guns. Okay, price-wise, you can currently purchase these most places in the $189 range. Okay? Seven and a half inch barrel, plain stocks, uh, two cylinders, $169 to $179. $160 to $170. Uh, you know, some of the rip them off big box stores that think they know everything will try and sell this gun for $225. You know, I was over at a, we ain't going to say their name, little gun shop that thinks a lot of themselves over in Nicholasville and they were selling this gun for like 300 bucks with two cylinders uh, but you can pick pick this up you know we've got these new ones at the store and they're 179 dollars for two cylinders and, and custom style stocks on them uh, so you know we're in pretty good shape there here's the problem Here's the problem that I see with this gun. This gun costs the same as that gun with two cylinders. This gun shoots as good as that gun does and only comes in 22 long rifle. So if it comes down to spending my money for, you know, serviceability of a particular firearm, I'm going to go with the Rough Rider with two cylinders for the same money. And that's just about the size of it. I can't, you know, I've rolled this thing around in my mind. What would I actually say about the gun? You know, what would I, what would I do with it? How would I go about it if I had to buy the gun at new retail? Now, this gun came to me as a premium for doing a gun show, and we had $71,000 in sales at the Louisville Gun Show, and I got this gun as a premium. You know, so I got that gun for free. Uh, this gun I purchased through Apache Armaments for the map price. You know, the manufacturer's minimum uh, retail price. So, you know, which was less than wholesale, actually. Uh, that's one of the nice things about working with a reputable gun company is that they help their people out. So when it comes right down to it, for my money at full retail, it's going to be the Rough Rider with two cylinders, you know, and and, and that's it. That's that's my opinion on it. Uh, we floated this thing around. There's this will make the fourth Rough Rider video, um, and the, and the third comparison between the two guns. When it comes right down to it, for the money and for the serviceability, you know. Uh, I'm going to go with the Rough Rider. Now, if Ruger ever decides to uh, manufacture a Magnum cylinder that you can order and put in this gun, or they decide to go with a Magnum cylinder, you know, changeable cylinder, for very similar money, I would probably go with this one. But as it stands, you know, 
you can load this one up with 22 long rifles with the long rifle cylinder and plink and shoot and squirrel hunt with it and goof off and you know sink beer bottles and, and do all kinds of things with it you can put the magnum cylinder in it and you can keep the coyotes off your place or even use it as a defensive firearm so you know that makes it a lot more serviceable of a gun with a lot more applications for exactly the same money as the Wrangler. Otherwise, they shoot the same, and that's about the size of it. Um, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. We'll leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door if you want to, and if you don't want to, I'll keep right on making content for you. Uh, join the NRA. They're about the only game in town. Um, you know, they're your, they're, they're your best defense on your 2A rights. Uh, and be kind to one another. There's a lot of silliness in the world, and there's a little bit of disease in the world. We need to be careful with that. But if you're driving down the road and you see a bunch of people standing in the middle of the road, a bunch of window lickers and moon howlers, you know, that couldn't make change for a dollar on a 50-cent purchase, just back up, turn around, and go the other way. <laughs> uh, we'll see y'all when we see you. God bless everyone. We'll see you now.